You know, a lot of athletes have already had solid starts to their 2022 athletics campaigns. Terrence Jones tied the NCAA record in the 60, Armand Duplantis has already jumped over six meters in the pole vault, and just yesterday, Steven Gardner from the Bahamas broke the world record in the indoor 300, clocking a time of 31.56 seconds. 2022 is already opening up with the momentum and promise that many of us are constantly hopeful for. And once again, just like we've seen over the previous few years, Matthew Bowling from the University of Georgia is only continuing to showcase his incredible talents. At the Razorback Invitational in Fayetteville, Arkansas, Bowling was set to race in the 200 meters, and just like he did last season, he proved why he simply has to be the favorite for the indoor collegiate 200 meter title. With a solid start and explosive power, Bowling had already made up the stagger over the opening 100 meters, and with world-class sprinting strength, he only continued to pull away from his competition over the following 50 meters. With a finishing time of 20.27 seconds, Bowling had just improved on his own world number one performance, and with this finishing time, he finished just outside of a top 10 all-time performance. Pretty crazy when you consider that it's still only January. I really can't believe that Matthew Bowling just did this. For last year's indoor season, he only ran faster than 20.27 on one occasion, and that was his 20.19 performance from the indoor NCAA championships on March 13th. At this time last year, he only managed a time of 20.53, so at this pace, it seems quite likely that he will improve on his own personal best over the following few weeks, and who knows, Maybe he'll take a crack at the indoor NCAA record, which currently stands at 20.02. Right now, Bowling is ranked number one in the world in the long jump at 8.25 meters, and he's also ranked number one in the world in the 200 with this incredible 20.27. The only concern I have with such high-ranking world-class performances is the fact that last year, it seemed as though Bowling had already burned himself out by the time the National Outdoor Championships arrived. But if he can time his performances and training this season, he has a very solid opportunity at making the World Championships this year. And now I'll pass the question off to you guys. How fast do you think Matthew Bowling will run in 2022, and does he have a chance at making the World Championships? Thanks for watching everyone, and as always, until next time.